Imagine this, you're at dinner with your parents and your father comes home and announces that he has found you a husband. You're only 16. You've always known there was something not quite right with your family. You're the weirdo at school who isn't allowed to cut her hair and has to wear long skirts and isn't allowed to have friends. And your church has animal sacrifices and corporal punishments instead of music and potlucks. But this is taking things too far. Your father invites him over for dinner and he's none other than the creep from school who never bathes and makes rude comments about girls that land him in detention. You don't know what to do or where to go, so you take your frustration out on your rose garden, your only sanctuary, tearing your arms up in the process. But before you can do too much damage, you feel a hand on your neck and you pass out. Your eyes are sealed shut and you can't move, but you can hear and feel everything. Someone gently cleans your wounds and carries you to your room. He doesn't leave. He sits next to you and whispers to you. Sweet Naomi, I want so desperately to get you out of here, but it's not time. He squeezes your hand and you want to squeeze it back, but you can't. I promise you this, I will rescue you before the wedding and your father will pay. You expect him to leave, but you want to cry out for him to stay, to take you away now, but your lips won't move. You hear him stand and then his breath is on your face and without warning he kisses your lips. Your eyes flash open and he disappears.